a food made of love for the richness of taste that has been passed down from generation to generation is always present in every culinary business. In Indonesia, the spread of various ethnic groups in Southeast Asia has spread widely and served various kinds of culinary influences that have been influenced by their respective regions. Singapore is one of the countries that inspires many people to create a culinary business in Indonesia. In the Gading Serpong area, there is a restaurant that serves authentic Singaporean food with flavors that also come from Chinese and Indonesian food. This restaurant is usually called Angke Restaurant. Angke Restaurant was founded in 1965. Starting from a business built by grandparents from a family, this business has been passed on from generation to generation so that it has grown rapidly into a culinary business in Tangerang and Jakarta and surrounding areas. Sebenarnya Sangke itu kita udah mulai dari 1965 ya. Nah, ini kita bermula itu dari keluarga kami itu yang mulai adalah kakek nenek kami. Itu kakek nenek saya gitu dan dibantu oleh paman atau orang tua saya yang akhir berkembang sekarang itu di generasi ketiga saya dan generasi keempat dari uh, Jenny uh, itu berawal sebenarnya di daerah Kalijodo nah itu kita itu bermula dari tiga meja saja nah itu dulu waktu zaman itu banyak uh, imigran dari Tiongkok nah itu kayak dulu tempat ngumpulnya minum teh gitu ada, ada juga uh, minum bir nah itu sambil makan ayam garam jadi satu-satu menu itu adalah ayam garam nah, setelah dari itu kita itu berkembang dan pindah ke dekat sana juga dari Kojodo pindah ke jalan Tubagus Angke jadi orang kebanyakan yuk kita makan ke restoran yang di jalan Angke gitu. jadi akhirnya diambillah nama restoran Angke nah setelah itu kita berkembang terus akhirnya kita pindah juga ke jalan uh, Tapang yang sekarang masih ada ini jadi pusat kami. Untuk sementara ini kita ada empat cabang yang restoran. Uh, itu ada di Ketapang, di ke Jalan uh, Jalan Aritin. Dan kita juga ada di uh, Kelapa Gading itu di Mall of Indonesia. Dan kita ada di Pantai Indah Kapuk. Dan juga ada di Kedeng Serpong. Nah, kita juga ada satu outlet hanya khusus takeaway itu di Bandung. Gitu, kita buka itu jam 10 pagi sampai jam 9 malam. This restaurant also has a family restaurant concept that puts forward a sense of togetherness between beloved family members. Uh, konsep kita itu kita tuh lebih mencondong itu adalah kita utama ada keluarga kita tuh mau menempatkan diri itu untuk sebagai restoran pilihan utama untuk restoran Chinese. Keluarga itu memang jadi target utama kami uh, dan juga memang karena kami juga cukup uh, senang ya melayani mereka karena kembali lagi ketika mereka datang kemari uh, ada rasa nostalgia gitu. Oh uh, dulu saya pernah makan di sini. Oh dulu saya, makanan kesukaan saya seperti ini. Jadi kita punya pelanggan juga sebenarnya itu udah generasi keempat gitu. Awal mulanya adalah dari kakek nenek mereka bawa ke orang tua mereka nah, hingga sekarang itu ya dan si keempat juga sudah jadi pelanggan kita juga gitu. Family is important to the development process in this culinary business. With the next generation continuing, grandpa and grandma of Robby and Jenny familiarize their families with gatherings to maintain family togetherness at Angke Restaurant. Jadi kadang-kadang kalau saya dikenalin ke saya punya paman ke temannya oh yang ini ya yang lu punya keponakan dulu masih lari-larian di, di, di restoran karena dulu dari generasi saya gitu kakek sama nenek saya itu mengharuskan generasi ketiga itu setiap Sabtu sama Minggu tuh nginep di restorannya dari kakek nenek saya juga, juga udah merencanakan gitu suatu hari bisnis ini restoran ini adalah yang meneruskan adalah kita-kita juga kalau kalian tidak mengenal saling mengenal gimana mau kerjasama gitu. Jadi semua bareng jadi semuanya itu tidak ada masalah pas kita transisi ke generasi ketiga. During the rainy season, it feels very suitable if we eat warm dishes that warm our bodies. Angke restaurants serve a dish that we usually also meet in Singapore. Here it is, hisset soup. Hisset soup is a soup dish made from shark fin. The ingredients for this dish include dried shark fin, shredded crab meat, asparagus, 
cornstarch and Anke restaurant's signature chicken broth. How to make it quite easy. Let's take the shark fin and put it in a container. After that, let's give the shark fin with the very hot broth. This process is done so that the shark fin can have a more chewy texture. Next, in a different pan, let's pour vegetable oil, chicken stock, salt, sesame oil, sugar and stir until the spices are mixed. When it's mixed, then we add the crab, asparagus, egg, cornstarch water, and all the ingredients are cooked from 3 until 5 minutes till it's thickened. When it is cooked, soup is poured into a bowl topped with shark's fin. He said soup is ready to eat. Especially for this menu, Anke restaurant sells it in the form of per cup. In one cup, they serve various types of soups fillings in large quantities so that when tasting soup hisit, your mouth will feel full of various types of fillings. Shark's fin that serve has a chewy and soft texture. The asparagus and crab are cooked perfectly. The gravy from this dish has a savory taste so it is perfect when eaten together with Anke Restaurant's signature spicy chili. Warm and nutritious for our bodies. Still with us at Anke Restaurant, a delicious and richly flavored restaurant. If you come here, you don't need to worry because here they serve more than 50 authentic food menus. The flavors served from various dishes at Anke Restaurant also have recipes that have been passed down from generation to generation and never changed. Kalau yang membedakan kita sebenarnya balik lagi dengan kita punya resep itu bisa dibilang tuh dari 1965 tuh sama cara masaknya. Itu cuman kita ya balik lagi menggunakan teknologi yang lebih bagus gitu. Cuman untuk dari uh, hampir kayak bilang kita punya bumbu, kita punya cara masak itu semua sama dari 1965. Gitu. Robbie and Jenny come from a family of Chinese Hakka tribes that have spread throughout Southeast Asia as well. So there are a lot of dishes served here that we often encounter in other Southeast Asian regions, such as in Singapore. Ya, jadi untuk uh, kakek dan uh, kakek dan nenek buyut saya itu datang dari Moyan, uh, itu di daerah uh, selatannya Cina, uh, dan itu memang terkenal dengan uh, banyak pelabuhan di sana. Sehingga banyak yang orang-orang bilang, oh saya memang dari uh, memang orang Hakka, itu adalah orang-orang uh, yang sudah menyebar ke berbagai macam belahan dunia. Dan salah satunya yang paling banyak adalah di daerah Asia Tenggara, yaitu ada di Singapura, Malaysia, dan juga salah satunya yang paling besar ada di Indonesia. Itu. Makanya akhirnya kenapa makanan kita ini ada sedikit kemiripan dengan yang ada di daerah Singapura dan Malaysia. Itu. Menunya itu ada perbedaan ya untuk me apa? menyesuaikan dengan cita rasa Indonesia. Jadi kalau misalnya makanan Hakka di Singapura, di, 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 di negara Asia Tenggara lainnya itu ada perbedaannya. Gitu. Karena kalau contohnya di, di Indonesia itu orang lebih apa lebih suka yang manis. Gitu. Jadi kita ubah lebih peka arah manis, uh, gurih. Gitu. Because the recipe hasn't changed for a long time, many of the customers who come here feel nostalgic when tasting the dishes at Anke Restaurant with their families. Ada juga sih cerita yang cukup menarik ya kalau dari cabang lain kami terutama di cabang Ketapang dan Kelapa Gading yang memang prioritas kami lebih untuk ke venue acara uh, ini ada kejadian-kejadian di mana uh, orang tuanya pernah menikah di tempat kami di tahun 90 80 dan kemudian anaknya menikah lagi di sini uh, jadi ini cukup apa ya cukup menyentuh hati kami sih oh ternyata masih uh, ada rasa ingin kembali lagi kemari merayakan lagi dengan kami membagi momen-momen bahagia ini bersama kami di restoran ini sudah beberapa kali ya beberapa kali kita makan di sini sebelum buka di sini kita udah makan di Anke ya biasanya sih ini ya uh, Haisom ya oh kalau Haisom itu kan dia teksturnya ya teksturnya itu ya dia sedikit lebih lebih kenyal gitu ya 
dan itu kan memang lebih tebal gitu ya kualitasnya bagus lah di sini gitu memang walaupun harganya lebih ini tapi kualitasnya bagus sih uh, bisa kita pesen sih ini ya uh, apa ya ini lumpia goreng ya dia itu uh, dagingnya itu kan nggak banyak campuran yang lain-lain ya lebih lebih ori lah gitu ya lebih bagus lah dia punya ini nggak nggak banyak campuran tepung-tepung gitu lebih banyak lebih so we rarely encounter here it is moon haisom or braised sea cucumber the ingredients used to make this menu are sea cucumbers siongku mushroom garlic soy sauce chicken Oyster sauce, fish sauce, angchu, pepper, salt, and cornstarch. Let's cook moon haisong. Start by pouring a little bit of vegetable oil, then add garlic, seasoning like fish sauce, chicken stock, and then add sea cucumber, soy sauce, chicken, and mushrooms. Then we can add oyster sauce, angchu, salt, pepper, mushroom soy sauce, cornstarch water. Then stir again and cook until all ingredients are cooked perfectly. This menu is cooked for 5 minutes and served with boiled bok choy vegetables. This unique dish has various benefits that are good for our bodies. Sea cucumbers have health benefits such as to overcome gum problems, increase endurance, maintain heart health, improve bone health, prevent wrinkles on the skin, and various other benefits. This menu is very suitable when eaten with warm rice. Wow, the sauce from Moon Haisom has a savory and sweet taste with a thick and dark consistency of sauce. The sea cucumber meat is cooked perfectly. As an illustration for the Indonesian people, sea cucumber meat has the same taste and texture with kikil. Soft and chewy. Siongko mushroom and soy sauce chicken are other ingredients that complement Moon Haisom's menu at Angke restaurant. Delicious and nutritious. In addition, for those of you who like chicken with a delicious taste, here there is also a mainstay menu that is used as a signature dish from Angke restaurant. This menu is usually called ayam garam or salted chicken. Ayam garam itu dari awalnya kita masak itu dari timingnya itu sama. Cuma perbedaannya kalau sekarang kita pakai timer yang digital. Zaman dulu itu kita pakai timer pakai dupa. Jadi gitu, misal satu ayam garam kita pakai dua dupa. Jadi dupa pertama sudah selesai, dupa kedua. Nah itu jadi kita dari generasi dari kakek nenek saya gitu, sampai ke sekarang ini itu masih pakai sistem yang sama. Gitu. Cuma perbedaannya teknologi yang kita perlu berubah. Jadi dari 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 garamnya, tumpukan garamnya berapa banyak, satu kuali itu mesti ada berapa ayam dan berapa kilogram garam itu semua sama dari dari zaman dulu. The chicken used for this menu is a type of kampung chicken from Indonesia. The spices used are also very simple, only fine salt, coarse salt, and chicken stock powder. The way to make it begins by inserting one free kampung chicken into cassava paper. Then the chicken put in a pile of salt and cook for two hours over low heat. If the chicken is cooked, we can cut the chicken into several pieces so you can easily eat this dish without having to cut it yourself. In one portion, you can get one ayam garam with a very large size. The chicken meat is also very abundant. Very suitable if eaten together with family and loved ones. When we taste this food, the taste we can feel is taste of savory that seeps into the meat, chicken, and bones. Eaten with hot rice and chili will be a perfect complement if we taste the Singapore salt chicken menu.
Anke restaurant has a family restaurant concept, which if we come here, we will feel like eating at home and reminiscing about the memories of tasting food at Anke restaurant. If you come to Anke restaurant Gading Serpong branch, they have three floors which have their own characteristic and can be an option for you. Kalau dari pembedaan pasti gini, jadi beda-beda cabang contohnya kayak misalnya yang di Kelapa Gading itu kita lebih ke ballroom gitu. Jadi kita memang uh, di sana itu kita yang fokus untuk uh, pesta ya, pesta pernikahan, pesta acara perusahaan gitu. Nah, kalau misalnya standar kita gitu biasa tuh lantai satu adalah untuk umum gitu. Kita ada satu lantai pasti itu yang untuk VIP. Sekarang itu uh, zamannya banyak lebih orang mau privacy. Uh, kita sebagai restoran keluarga, gitu, kita ngumpul keluarga, maunya tuh kayak di rumah sendiri, ada ruangan sendiri, di mana bisa ngumpul, bisa nyanyi lagu sambil karaoke, orang tuanya yang makan, yang nyanyi, yang nyanyi lagu, cuma anak-anak belum tentu mau nyanyi lagu, jadi kita siapkan tuh arcade, ya, kita ada arcade di ruang VIP-nya, kadang-kadang ada juga oh, arcade, game-nya game tahun 90-an, anak yang suka, kita juga siapkan Xbox, gitu. jadi kalau ada perlu Xbox, itu juga bisa kita siapkan di ruang VIP-nya. Kami juga mengadakan adanya playground ya, karena mungkin di restoran Chinese lainnya uh, biasanya untuk spot playground itu nggak sampai dedicated kami sih untuk membuat ada satu ruang khusus dan segala macam. Di lantai yang lantai tiganya gitu juga, kalau yang untuk di Garden Serpong itu juga untuk pesta juga gitu, cuman dengan kapasitas yang lebih rendah di, dibanding Kelapa Gading. Feels like home, that's the sentence that describes Anke restaurant. They have lots of very interesting facilities and of course they can entertain us as customers. There is a karaoke tool to sing with the family. There is an arcade game as nostalgia for playing games with coins. Also there is a children's playground and other VIP rooms that you can use with your families or friends. Here we can also make many big events such as weddings which have been provided on the third floor as a venue at Anke restaurant. The decoration of each wall at Anke restaurant has its own uniqueness. The nuances that are also highlighted are the atmosphere in the Chinese restaurant are which is homey and also cozy. The wall decoration of Anke restaurant is also inspired by the Great Wall of China. Want to see other delights? Come follow us to the kitchen. This menu has the name Ikan Kerapu Tim or Steamed Groupers. The ingredients used to make this dish include a sliced grouper, crushed ginger, large scallions, and sliced scallions. There is also a secret sauce that will be used in the steamed grouper cooking process. How to make it is very easy. Grouper that has been sliced and given ginger and scallions, put in a steamer and cook for 15 minutes. When the fish is cooked, ginger and large scallions are removed from the container. Then the fish is topped with sliced scallion. Lastly, Anka Restaurant's secret sauce is poured into the steamed fish. Mmm! The aroma of this food will immediately waft into your nose if you come and taste this menu. In one serving, you will get a large grouper and also perfectly cooked. The meat of this grouper is also very thick and soft, very juicy. This fragrant dark gravy has a savory and sweet taste. If mixed and matched between fish meat and Anke Restaurant's secret sauce, it will be a very delicious combination from the Team Grouper Fish menu. Hot rice is a suitable companion as a complement to this menu. If you want to add a little fresh taste, you can add a little lime juice on top of the fresh meat. Delicious, fresh, and of course you will not regret if you taste the Steam Grouper Fish. Who would have thought if Anke Restaurant had a new menu innovation inspired by salted egg chips in Singapore? For this restaurant, they modified the idea with other unique ingredients. This is Kulit Saklon or Fanged River Frog Skin with salted egg sauce. 
To make this dish, you have to prepare the saclon skin, flour, and eggs. Then there is also salted egg yolk, spring onion, chili, which has been cut into small pieces, butter, and chicken stock powder. The cooking process begins with process the saclon skin by mixing it into the eggs mixture. Then put it in the flour mixture. After that, the saclon skin is fried in hot oil for 2 to 3 minutes until it becomes crispy and golden brown. For the salted egg sauce, let's start by mixing salted egg with salt and also ebi. Then in a frying pan, let's pour butter, salted egg mixture, red chili, a little vegetable oil, and mix well until the sauce becomes thick. Then add the saklon skin that has been fried and stir again until all the ingredients are mixed. When it is cooked, it will be served on a long plate. Has a dark yellow color that is rich in taste, this is a unique menu that is only available at Anke restaurant. Don't worry and be afraid when tasting this one menu because it tastes very delicious and also all ingredients are evenly mixed. Fried saklon skin has a savory taste and also a crunchy texture. The salted egg sauce served has a thick, dense and slightly oily texture. When we taste it, the taste of the sauce has a savory, sweet taste and also creamy, very rich in taste. Again, warm rice makes the perfect accompaniment for this cuisine. Anke Restaurant is a culinary business that will continue to grow every day. With a large family who are responsible for this business, Anke Restaurant will still be a culinary business that is always relevant to the times. The delicacy provided by Anke Restaurant will always remain in the hearts of its customers. They are a restaurant that is always a nostalgic place and can provide the best moments in your life if you come to taste and enjoy Anke Restaurant. Restoran legendaris yang selalu berinovasi. Uh, rumah kedua untuk semua keluarga di Indonesia. <laughs> it will not be buried by time and will always be a legend for the culinary world because this is the tasty Singapore at Anke Restaurant.